It's like Komodo Island, but in Bangkok, Thailand, right here with the traffic. Look how massive he is. How crazy is this? He's a beast. Right on the side of the road. It's busy right now, major traffic. What's up, dude? Isn't this crazy? I'm the only one who cares about these lizards. Oh my God, those lizards are fighting over there. Look, right for it. Oh, they're going right for it. They don't even care about them. Guys, forget about the water monitor. Look at this, it's a giant snake head. Oh, they have babies. Two giant snake heads with babies. No, that's okay, you stay there. Oh, what was that? Hey guys, my phone died, and I just charged it at a little kiosk, and now there's a bunch of crows flying over me. But it's okay, we're gonna see this giant water monitor. I gotta go over the murky, nasty water with my oh, cock. That's not good. I don't wanna disturb him. I just wanna look at him. Look at that, his tail. Look at that. Wild water monitor out here in Bangkok. Ooh, 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 it's okay. Ah, Thailand, the land of the giants, the land of the Thai food, the land of the smiles, the land I call second home, or third, because I love Australia a lot too, besides America. ka -chow. what's going on, my beautiful, what, beautiful people, I am about to go look for giant lizards in a park where giant water monitors roam, fight each other for mating rights, just like in America at the beach. When dudes see a hot girl and they gotta flex and get a little, little pump action, look, uh, 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 what you doing over here? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's go see the lizards that we call water monitors. Follow me and I'll show you with my phone because that is what an award winning cinematographer would have when traveling across the plant to film stuff. Ka ciao. But before we leave, let me give you a little update on my leg. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, what is going on with my leg? Check it out. I can finally show you guys because it's not too bloody. This is one of the big holes on the side where they had to dig a cavity all the way down my calf. It's pretty crazy because to, to this date, I can't feel anything right here. This is all numb. Nothing. And literally, they had to make a tunnel all the way down my calf where they'd stuff all the gauze and take it all out every day for four to five days. And... I cannot express enough. The recovery was worse than the bite. So right here's another hole where a big tooth went inside. And then that is the biggest hole. And I can show you guys because now it's just a scab. It's not too nasty. And you can see all my beautiful little hairs everywhere growing around. So the skin's healthy. Everything's going back to normal. I just look like I was attacked by a dog. Oh, the fun of working with crocodiles comes with the territory. For you guys wondering why the hell would I go all the way to Asia when I'm healing up from a crocodile wound? I mean, what am I supposed to do? Just get fat and sit on the couch all the time? No, I'm going to go out and explore the world. If I just listen to every YouTube commenter that said, don't risk your life, don't, don't do all this dangerous stuff, then that would mean I'll just have a long, boring life. And I'd rather have exciting life, full of adventure. So I know I live my life to the fullest. ka -chow. Ow. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, I didn't see you there, handsome. Oh, you've got a nice looking leg right there. Do you come to Bangkok often? Oh no, I don't. I've been so busy the past couple years grinding and building my wildlife park. It's nice to be here. Oh, it's nice for you to be here too. That's fantastic. Uh, I gotta go. Do you want my phone number? No, no, no. You sure you don't want my number? Okay. This is awkward. Please open. It's rush hour, so I want to try and get myself a nice taxi. Take me to Lumpini Park, good sir. Land of the lizards, as they say. What do you do? Exercise, huh? No, I want to go look at the lizards. Huh? Holy smokes, it's just like in the documentaries. There are water monitors, literally everywhere oh my god look there's like 20 right here what's up dude this is wild look right on the side of the road it's busy right now major traffic what's up dude what are you guys doing everyone's been feeding you guys you're so comfortable with everyone this is wild look there's lizards everywhere big six to seven even eight foot water monitors all over the place look these guys were just battling a second ago this is crazy what is up you guys oh my god this is crazy this is what i've been wanting to see since i was a little boy it's like komodo island but in bangkok thailand right here with the traffic 
food and these guys they're chill they must have been fed by people what? what's up bro what's up bro you gonna come say hello how cool is that look at this look i can even i can touch this guy look he's chilling i can touch his tail well, not, maybe not so much but you need to be able to get that close to wild water monitors that's insane i mean i did not expect this many water monitors look look at this this guy has to be like seven foot long and it looks like all these males are starting to battle with each other like this guy's coming up has caused some problems with this guy look how massive he is guys look how big this water monitor is and look they're just checking each other out they must get fed a lot because for me to be able to get this close to water monitors is insane wild water monitors nobody raised these guys they've been living out here producing look at that it's like I'm at Komodo Island, surrounded by dragons. Now don't get me wrong, these guys, if they inflicted a bite, it would be just like a Komodo dragon or a croc monitor. It would be major lacerations, cut you deep down to the tendons. You'll need reconstructive surgery. Your fingers might fall off. But these guys, as long as I respect them and keep my distance, we'll be good. How cool is that? Look, we got another one cruising up right now. They're all just hanging out. I was really not expecting to be getting this close and seeing so many water monitors right i'm not even in the park yet like this is right off the main road i can't get over how big this guy is right here like look look how massive he is i'm gonna try and just not make too much eye contact with him so he's comfortable but look at that he's just cruising around i bet this guy's getting fed like every day by random people coming by how crazy is this like i'm just gonna sit and see how comfortable he is with me. I'm not gonna push his bubble too much. Look at him. He's a beast. He's a beast. This is crazy. Oh my God, I love this. This is insane. All right, let's go see the park. This is just the outside of the park. You can see why I wanna move to Thailand. But of course, I've got a beautiful property back home that I'm building up. What's up, dude? How you doing? Look at this guy just cruising around looking for a meal. And this one cruising over, they swim just like crocodiles. They tuck their legs back and they use that flat tail as a rudder to get them through the water. This guy's literally six feet long, six plus foot. Where'd you go? I just saw another one right here. And then we got big boy cruising over. Everyone's looking for a snack. Oh, these guys are battling over there. Let's go see if we can see that. Guys, look at this. Monitor lizard. Monitor lizard. Monitor lizard. More in the water. More over there. Or oh, right here. Oh, at the entrance. That's insane. And for any of you guys who want to come see this place, Lumpini Park. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. That is awesome. Land of the Dragons. Let's go. What's up, little dude? You're surrounded by giants. And this one's literally like a four plus foot monitor lizard and he's still tiny compared to everyone else out here. This is crazy. This is heaven for me. What's up little guy? Hanging out? All right guys, I am back at the park. Right after I walked through the entrance, my phone died. So I had to hang out at Starbucks. It was terrible. I totally didn't order caramel macchiato. Anyways, look how beautiful this park is. The sun's setting and it's still glistening with green everywhere. And the big thing that I learned about this park is that everyone comes here to exercise. Nobody, nobody seems to care about the lizards. <laughs> so I'm the only one who's walking around peeking at the lizards. Everyone here is used to them like they're pigeons or like in Florida as if they're iguanas. They are all over this park. They're not really all over the place as in the whole entire city of Bangkok. But here in the park, there's a high concentration because nobody messes with them. So let's sort of see if we can get close to some more. Guys, forget about the water monitor. Look at this. I'm gonna try not to scare, but look, it's a giant snake head. Look how beautiful. Oh, it's two snake heads. You gotta be kidding me. Look. Oh, they have babies. Two giant snake heads with babies. You guys, this is crazy. For all my fish hobbies out there, all my fishermen, look at this. The parents are hanging out right over the babies. They're all hanging out. They're beautiful too. Look at these guys. Holy smokes, I did not expect to see a beautiful pair of snake heads. It was two parents with the babies. How cool is that? They're right there underneath the surface. Now they're hiding, but oh my God, that was wild. Look, here are the babies again. They just popped up for a second. You can see the whole brood of babies moving up and the parents are protecting them. Apparently they can be a little bit aggressive 
when guarding the babies. Oh, look at this water monitor cruising around. That's why those parents have to be so aggressive because the water monitors will make a quick snack of little baby snake heads. All right, I'm gonna let these guys be and see what else we can see. It's so exciting and I'm in the middle of the city. I love Thailand. You don't get this in Miami. Just get iguanas and angry people in traffic. And believe it or not, Bangkok, they're better drivers. Yeah, I said it. And you know it's true, Dade County. And look, it's so casual out here that the monitor lizards are just hanging out. People don't even bat an eye at them. It's like pigeons out here. Dude, you are such a good looking animal. I'm not gonna invade the personal bubble, but I do wanna get a great shot of this lizard. Look at that. I am literally right here hanging out with a big old water monitor. It's okay. I'm not gonna keep bugging you. Opening that throat up a little bit, puffing up, arching that neck. That's a sign that this lizard's not too happy. No, that's okay. You stay there. Oh, what was that? I'll leave you alone. We've got a big dragon on the move. He's picked up a scent trail. Let's see what he's keen for. Hopefully he doesn't smell my wound. Isn't this crazy? I'm the only one who cares about these lizards. Oh my God, those lizards are fighting over there. Look, oh my God. All right, I'm sorry, buddy, but let me get by you for a second. I need to see what's going on with this fight. You wanna come with me? Let's go watch the fight. World Star, come on, World Star. These guys just finished fighting. This is the winner. And then this is the wee little baby who wants to leave to the other side of the park. Don't worry guys, this park is gigantic. These guys have plenty, oh. Oh, the fight's not over. Oh, he heard what I said. Oh, bro, you better. Oh, you better get ready, son. He's coming in hot, bro. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, he's going right for it. Oh, they're going right for it. They don't even care about me. Look at this. And this is definitely two males fighting. This is not mating behavior. Where did the male go? That's crazy. The winner actually just dipped, and he's bigger. What's going on here? Where'd the other one go? He just gave up and ducked. And this guy's like, this is my turf. I get all the ladies now. That is insane. Welcome to Bangkok, Thailand. Phone died, and I just charged it at a little kiosk, and now there's a bunch of crows flying over me. But it's okay, we're gonna see this giant water monitor. I literally saw the biggest water monitor I've ever seen in my life. It's like 70 feet long in a tree sleeping. Let's see if we can get a shot of it. All right, guys, the moment of truth. He is up the tree. I'm gonna try and get a shot of him first, and then I'm gonna get a shot from in the tree if I can. He is a monster. He doesn't look big right now, but he's literally like a seven foot water monitor. Oh my God. All right, let's see how this goes. I gotta go over the murky, nasty water with my crock bite. That's not good. Oh, oh, let's go, baby. Let's do this. I don't want to disturb him. I just want to look at him. Holy dooly. Look at that guy. Look how massive he is. Holy smokes. He is every bit of seven, eight feet long. Now he's eight foot for sure. Look at him. Do you guys see how massive? This guy is, and I don't, I don't understand how nobody is freaking out like I am right now. All right, let me see if I can, my way, my closer, I can almost touch his tail. He's a big boy. Oh, there's another one up there too. That's probably his girlfriend. Look at this beast of an Asian water monitor. Now I'm hanging out in a tree in Bangkok with this monstrous water monitor. I can actually touch his tail, look at this. Um, ooh, not too bad. Look at that, his tail. Look at that, beat up battle scars. He's the king of this park. Now I'm hanging out with him, oh my God. This is a dream come true. You are a beautiful dragon. I didn't know there was another Komodo Island smack dab in the middle of Bangkok. You lucky dog, you got a girl, you got the biggest tree, you run the park, you're not worried about nothing. And he's, he's chill, he's not worried about me. He knows he's top dog. Look, I got his tail right now in my hands. Look at that big rudder tail, allows him to swim in the water, no problem. Full of muscle. Smartest lizards on the planet are the monitor lizards, Varanus. And he's a smart boy. He knows he runs the whole entire park. And if he really wanted to, he could bite me so bad and sever my tendons and leave me bleeding wide open. Oh my God, I don't think I can get enough shots of this guy. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God, he is huge. I wish I could get like a little closer, but I don't want to disturb him. The worst thing that could happen right now is I fall in this water with my croc bite. This water's disgusting. As beautiful as Bangkok is, it's got a lot of dirty water. 
Look at this. Woo! How cool is that? You gotta be kidding me. Monster water monitor. Now I'm kind of like straddling the tree. It's beautiful out here. Look at this. Big, beautiful tail. Wild water monitor out here in Bangkok. Ooh, 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 it's okay. It's okay, buddy. He didn't like me touching his tail. It's okay, big boy. I'll leave you alone. I'll leave you alone. Oh, nice to meet you, big boss, the water monitor. Oh, hear him hissing? He's not happy about that. One more thing before I go. Look how big my hand is next to the base of his tail. Look how big he is. He's a monster. All right, buddy. Guys, that's a banger episode in Bangkok. Just busting out bangers here in Bangkok. Subscribe, like, share. Guys, this is what it's all about. Following your dreams, chasing your passion. I love wildlife. I'm in the middle of Thailand right now. Middle of Bangkok right now. Hanging out with giant water monitors in a tree. Life doesn't get better than this. Follow your dreams, stay passionate about what you love, and I'll see you on the next one. I cannot express enough. The recovery was worse than the bite.